Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the market. Now I don't really tend to do a lot of market talks so when I do you know it's probably pretty important. Now I don't want to give a shout out to Jordan Sports Room for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel to notification bell on and comment down below Noti Gang. So I want to talk to you guys about the market kind of everything that's going to go on i think for this weekend now of course you guys can let me know down below what you guys think the market is going to kind of do over the course of the next day or so now i will let you guys know i am recording this video around noon on thursday so the weekend league monthly rewards they're not out at the time that i'm recording this video uh but by the time this video is out those rewards should be out to you guys so the market is probably going to be even lower but we have a lot of stuff that's going to be coming to Madden Ultimate Team over the course of the next couple of days here. This Saturday, they already announced today, we have Michael Vick coming. Now, we don't know who the defensive player is, but Michael Vick alone is enough to make the market change quite a bit. And a, a lot of stuff about this Michael Vick card, we haven't seen the stats yet, but a lot of stuff about this Vick card in general is about to change the market. Now, not only do we have Michael Vick coming, but as I just told you guys, we have Weekend League Monthly rewards dropping today now tomorrow we also have series reduxes coming but the series reduxes are only for the 91 overall ltds now i do have to say i wish he would have told us about this uh, ahead of time because obviously doing so would have helped a lot of people now uh one specific player who went down a lot of price scores is definitely darren waller now waller shot down a lot in price yesterday with the addition of jerry cook you know being 167k and him being faster than darren waller waller is down to 468k he shot down a lot in price now if we take a look at some other limited edition cards and i do i do want to let you guys know this as well uh, some people think there's a new series coming tomorrow because we have reduxes that is not the case there is not a new series tomorrow i don't know when there's going to be a new series honestly they haven't told us uh when it's going to be they haven't announced anything i have no clue when it's going to be maybe sometime next month I, I seriously have no clue. You're seeing a lot of people have these series Redux cards going ahead and selling off like Fletcher's 450k right now. Uh, Darren Waller, as I showed you, 465k. Nick Chubb down to 350k. Uh, even Devin White, 540k. Now, if you have these limited, should you sell off? It's honestly hard to say because there's a bit of a panic right now. Pretty much everybody's already selling off. Now, the thing is, these are 91 overall cards, so it's not like they're going to be pulled tremendously uh but they could be right pack odds could change tomorrow and ea could make these be pulled a lot which to be honest when it's like day one of new series reduxes or i guess now they're just called reduxes it's not series redux not associated with the series just redux and overalls go up they're gonna keep releasing redux this year uh they could be pulled quite a bit and you can see prices fall now it's more than just these limited editions of course uh there are also some legends that are going to be getting some reduxes i'll go over those really quick with you guys but you can see someone like kevin green is 128k right now which is extremely extremely cheap uh, for his set card i mean legends in general kind of cheap right now you're seeing a lot of these guys down in price uh if we take a look at the limited edition version of let's say you know larry zonka who is getting a redux tomorrow we'll see exactly what his price is looking like the set one is 150k the limited still about 370 now cards getting a redux tomorrow include larry zonka which these reduxes are you know they're pretty much the ltd version of these cards right but they're gonna be in packs forever larry zonka right here we also have nick chubb darren waller kevin green leonard davis fletcher warren Sapp, and devin white so i i got a lot of comments people asking me if they should sell off their ltds or their 92 overall LTDs or 93s I wouldn't sell off your 92s and 93s because those aren't the ones getting reduxes. When it comes to your 91 overall LTDs, though, if you have any players listed here, should you sell them? I mean, it's hard to know necessarily because of last year we did have people selling off reduxes and prices actually went up on those LTDs because the cards weren't being pulled. But with this being the first batch of reduxes, and I could be wrong with this. I just try to give you guys my personal opinion. You can take it as it is. 
I think these Reduxes are going to be pulled quite a decent amount. I feel like they will be. It's the first Reduxes, and I think EA may adjust the pack odds a little bit. And I think we may see these being pulled a decent amount. I could be wrong with that, and maybe you see, like, barely any Reduxes, and some players like Darren Waller actually trend up a little bit more in price. But that's up to you guys to determine on that what you want to do there. Also, as I said, we do have Weekend League Month Rewards coming out today. Now, the thing is, right, with those Weekend League Month Rewards... If you guys are getting those, did you guys already open them or are you saving them? I feel like a lot of people are going to be saving them for tomorrow with Series Reduxes and even for this weekend as well with Michael Vick. For me personally, I'm going to save the rewards that I get for this weekend for Vick. And if we take a look at the rewards you guys actually get, well, if you made top 100, you get a choice of one of three 90 plus overall players, which does guarantee a full legend player. You also get four legendary fantasy packs, two touchdown packs. Uh, you can see for legend, which is 60 wins, you know, you get four legend fantasy packs. For MVP, you get two legend fantasy packs. I think a lot of people are going to be saving those legend fantasy packs for this weekend. And I actually think the market is going to change a lot this weekend, especially. Now, in general, usually just when we get a Michael Vick card, the market tends to take a little bit of a hit. Now, does this mean you need to go out and panic sell your entire team? Not necessarily. But I definitely would not be stocking up on any training points. And I actually have got 7,900 training points. I plan to use those. I plan to use those before uh, this weekend because when we do get Michael Vick a special, and you guys can kind of take a look back uh, and see how things have changed throughout the years. But when we do get Michael Vick, we don't know who the defensive player is yet. But if it's even a good one, it doesn't even have to be like a great one. If it's a good one that people are like, oh yeah, I want that card too. You're going to see a lot of people opening up packs. People that maybe don't normally open up bundles are going to open up bundles, try to pull the Michael Vick. Mike Vick is kind of one of those Legends weekends where you really see the market take a hit. Trading points especially, you're probably going to see those go down a little bit. Now, given that also can change because there could be a lot of people who want to power up Michael Vick from his power up, right? But it's really going to come down to what kind of tiers will he get a skate party set how good are the cards underneath the limiteds with the power of you know you can just power it up with training points whatever you don't have to necessarily get the limited it depends on how good his stats actually are and mike vick himself is going to be an issue now the reason why he's going to be an issue is because obviously with michael vick coming into the game you have to imagine he's going to be the fastest quarterback in the game so he's definitely going to be the fastest quarterback in the game which i believe the fast qb currently in the game is that team week lamar uh who actually has 88 speed i want to say so vick's gonna be man 92 speed 91 speed it's hard to tell but i i would guess probably like 92 speed i think vick's gonna be like 92 speed and there's a couple of issues right now with madden 22 which just make vick coming out really really bad uh right now the pump fake not really glitch but the rpo glitch i'll call it uh the issue isn't necessarily that it's a glitch it's just kind of how the game is programmed uh to where your defenders won't play the quarterback if someone runs an rpo and they pump fake instantly and then scramble outside the pocket the defenders play it like it's a pass and you won't get an illegal man down the field when you start to run because you won't get a legal man down the field unless you actually do pass the ball so you get good blocks the defenders play it as if it's a pass but meanwhile your quarterback is literally just scrambling outside of the pocket so if you have michael vick coming out who's probably gonna have a skate artist definitely will have a skate artist obviously right so fastest quarterback in the game you're gonna have a skate artist you're gonna be able to throw the ball it's gonna be the best qb in the game it's really really gonna be crazy not only that but qb contains just don't really seem to work all that well at all even someone with daniel jones is able to escape the pocket easily even with uh, contains out there so mike vick is going to be game breaking in my opinion i think weekend league is going to be mayhem you're gonna have people doing the rpo glitch uh you're gonna have people just scrambling all around with michael vick qb contains are not gonna really hold them in it's gonna be mayhem so a lot of people are gonna want michael vick a lot of people are gonna be opening up packs and a lot of people are gonna be selling their quarterbacks if we take a look here at let's say uh dan marino right now he's 900k so he hasn't really changed all that much currently if we take a look at someone like you know rogers 247 tom brady down to 622 so you are seeing the quarterback market move a little bit now someone like josh allen right i currently have got josh allen i don't know what his price is currently looking like but i'm gonna sell my josh allen to get michael vick he's down to 260 you can see a lot of these players 20, 59 minutes 52 minutes 51 minutes he's getting thrown up a lot 59 minutes right there people are really really panic selling their qbs because they want to get vick 
The thing is, I don't know how expensive he's gonna be, but he's gonna be really expensive. So Mike Vick alone is definitely going to cause the market to go down a little bit uh, on specific positions like quarterback, of course. You're going to see training points definitely take a bit of a hit, uh, specifically on Saturday, because you're going to have a lot of people who are trying to sell off all the cards they pull from the legend packs and then go ahead and try to buy Michael Vick. But also, you may see some training points. Like it may crash initially, but it actually may rise a little bit pretty quickly in there as well because like i said some people may just go ahead get the mike vick power up powered up with training points because if you can get that mike vick powered up up to let's say 90 speed if that's possible which would be crazy that's still gonna be one of the better quarterbacks in the game on top of all of that guys we have most feared which looks like it's probably gonna be coming out next week uh overall i think the market is about to take quite a turn this weekend i think we're going to see some things definitely change up quite a bit so with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like video and of course hit that sub button down below wanted to come in here talk about the market with you guys some things that may be changing but hopefully you guys did enjoy see you guys next time